The practice of farming first began in Mesopotamia in 8000 BC. These methods included horse-drawn plows, grain cutting by a sickle, and threshing with a flail. Nowadays, modern technology has revolutionized the process, but even in such an advanced technological age, the basics of farming have not changed. It all begins with the soil, which must be fertilized. Next, the seed is planted. Then, the seed blossoms, and a crop is born. The way we like to start is right after harvest, we go out, soil sample, from that soil sample, we put our nutrients on. We prepare our strip. That strip is being prepared for the planting season in April. Come April, we assess the weather conditions. We go in, fill the planter up. Each field's got its own prescription. We diagnose what hybrids goes where, then we plant the seed. Once that's all done, then through the month of May, through July and August, we assess harvest. And before we do that, we go out and monitor the moisture so we know which field we're supposed to go to where. The farmer will bring corn to us at harvest time and we will bundle that up. Comes in a semi-trailer and we can load 500 semi-trailer loads on one unit train. So the volume that we can ship for a much better rate than what a farmer could truck provides a much better price for our local farmer. Today, technologies exist which have increased efficiency in every step of the farming process. As fertilizer, seed, fuel, and machinery costs increase, it is crucial for farmers to run their operations as efficiently as possible. The GPS is, has quickly become a part of almost everyone's life. Um, we depend on it to tell us where we are and where we're going and how we want to get there. And production agriculture is no different. It's also changed the way we farm. The difference is that normal GPS is accurate within about three feet. And because of the time delay, three feet is about as close as it can be accurate. Looking for an address, three feet is great. If you're uh, trying to precision agriculture or precision farm, three feet is too far away. So we uh, incorporate RTK, which is real-time kinematics. We incorporate that with the GPS signal. That's a, a base station on the ground and that corrects for the time and it will bring the accuracy of RTK precision steering down to sub inch. So we're talking about an inch or less all day, every day, today, tomorrow, next week, a year from now, and five years from now. And that has totally changed agriculture in North America and throughout the world. Today, American Farmer is on location in Auburn, Illinois, as we visit with Dickey John Corporation, a leader in the field of agricultural technology. Dickey John manufactures electronics uh, for the agricultural and public works markets. Uh, specifically, we design and develop different uh, technologies and solutions to assist OEMs, producers, grain handlers, food processors, all to make their operations more efficient and safer. The Dickey John Technologies helps us in several different avenues on this particular farm. We use the Dickey John application tools to apply the, the proper amounts of fertilizer and chemicals on in the spring of the year and also in the fall of the year. So th that's a different kind of branch. But then we also branch off on the other side of Dickey John, which is their moisture testers. We use the moisture testers to start the process at harvest to determine what moistures that we have on the different fields. And we also use the moisture testers to calibrate our uh, computers and different things on the combine. From planting to harvest, Dickey John has been designing technologies to improve all aspects of crop production that contribute to increased farming efficiencies and minimize environmental burdens. The American uh, producer, the American farmer, as well as the agricultural industry, continually focuses on sustainability and stewardship. Uh, we, are, we know that those two components are, are key components for us to be able to provide increased opportunity, increased yield, to better feed the world and allowing us to keep the, to keep the farm ground in, in as good a condition or better condition from the time we started till the time that we finish. Dickie John is one of the founding members that has created the new standard in farming, ISO 11783. ISO 11783 is basically a standard that's set, it's a worldwide standard that pertains specifically to monitors and controllers. The Dickie John and Teleag is an aftermarket ISO bus system that will comply with 11783. So this gives us the ability to plug in an implement with a Dickey John and Telag on it and communicate with the tractor. The grain farmer, 
the grain elevator owners and operators, the equipment manufacturers, the food processor, and of course, the consumer. These are the faces of the agricultural industry, and these are the driving forces behind Dickie John's innovations. When we relate technologies to cost of product, it's just not about the herbicide and the fertilizers and the seed. If any time there's a mistake in any of this, then it's excessive fuel costs. If we have to go back and replant because of a malfunction or different things like that, or uh, the cost of uh, drying seed. If we're out there and we're, we're harvesting the crop and it's too wet or it's too dry, then we've taken a tremendous discount on that crop. So we work hard throughout the whole year to maintain that. All our costs, the cost of everything that we have relates to the technologies that Dickey John has to offer. We use the Dickey John Moisture Testers, which is the industry standard. The GAC 2100 we have used for many years. The 2500 is a new tester that we're using, which is very quick. The high speed helps us dump more trucks, provide more efficiency, because our end users buy corn on a 15% moisture basis. If the corn is tested inaccurately and we condition it to a different level, then the end user will not have his 15% that he requires in order to keep and be able to handle the corn in an efficient way. Moisture testing and precision agriculture are two of the hottest topics in farming today. These technologies not only increase yields to feed more mouths and assist farmers in running their farm operations more efficiently and more lucratively, but also improve economic and environmental sustainability of crop production, making a global impact on our society as a whole. I think technology is going to play a bigger, bigger role in uh, agriculture going forward. The producers are going to need to increase their output and to reduce their costs to meet the needs of a growing population in the world. Technology will continue to revolutionize the world of farming as we know it. By integrating precision agriculture technologies and everyday operations, we create a win-win for all of the players in the grain production industry. For more information on Dickey John Corporation, please visit www.dickey-john.com.